Hello everyone, welcome to Python programming tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about sequence types in Python. So let me open sequence types.py file that I have created and I have included some of the sequence type uh, which are available in Python. So Python has built in sequ sequence types uh, known as list, tuples, and dictionaries. So I'll explain them one by one um, in this particular session. So the first sequence type that I'm going to cover is list, which is mutable. Mutable means changeable. So you can change the values of the list um, when you are executing your program. So it's it the values can be changed in the list. So I'll show you how you can change the values in the list. So in this program, what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I have a variable X and I'm assigning a list to it. So to define a list, it's simply, um, you just have a variable and then square braces, and then you can put any numbers in between uh, separated by commas. And, uh, or you can also have the strings as well. So list will accept any uh, data type within it. So what I have done is I have defined uh, uh, a list and stored in variable X, and then I'm printing the values of the list. So I'm uh, calling a simple for loop, I in X, and then printing the value of the I. So let's try and execute this program and see what's the output is. So I is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 has been printed, which are the values in the list. So let me explain you how the list are mutable or changeable. Um, so you can simply say that um, change the value at index one or zero or define the index that you want to update the value so for example at index 0 uh, at the moment it's 10 I want to replace it with 1 2 3 so simply you can do that if you run the program again then you can see that the I uh, the first value which is index 0 uh, is printed as 1 2 3 and then 20 30 40 and 50 so that that means that lists are mutable and you can change the values in the lists you can also do something like that and assign a separate or a different value at the third position and run it and you can see that first value is 1 2 3 then 20 30 1 2 4 and 50 um, that's about the list let me comment this piece of code and move to the tuple let me uncomment this piece of code uh, clear the console and tuple is similar to list the different uh, how to define is is simply just instead of square braces um, just normal braces and you can put strings in it or you can put numbers anything can be defined in the tuples um, now what I'm doing here is I'm again going ahead and printing the values of the tuple. So if you try to execute this program, you will get exactly similar, similar output as it was in list. Uh, the only difference in tuple and list is that tuples are not mutable. What this means is that you cannot change the values in the tuple. So you, if you just change it to zero, say x zero, and then change it to say at this index zero, if you change the value to one, two, three, and try to run it, it will give an error that tuple object does not support item assignment, right? Um, the third thing I want to cover is the range. So you can also um, print values you can define a range function or range method and print the values so what I'll do is I'll simply what I've done is I have simply defined a range uh, and then for, uh, for loop is basically printing 
the values in the range so it will start from 0 and print to 9 so if you run this uh, program it starts from 0 and then it prints up to 9 now range accepts three parameters so it it, it will accept um, start end and skip so at the moment if you just define one parameter it's it uh, means that it is the end and the sequence will end less than whatever value you defined here so at the moment I have defined 10 so that means the sequence will end at 9 if I define the start and end say for example I define as 5 as start and comma 10 as end then the number will start at 5 and it will end at 9 right now if you want to define the skip number if you want to skip the uh, counting by 2 you just define the number by which you want to skip so run again and now you will see that it printed 5 and then skip 2 and then printed 7 skip 2 and then printed 9 right so that's how you define ranges and range is not mutable as well so if you try to do uh, change in the index if for example at 2 you want to have some different value right so it will give an error that range object does not support item assignment how you can make range mutable you can just simply add the range in the list okay and if after you do this you can see that now it becomes mutable so 0 1 and then in, in the third index which is 2 it will print 1 2 3 now the last sequence type is dictionary let me uncomment this piece of code here and to define a dictionary it's uh, within the curly braces and it's a key value pair so you can define a key and a value associated with it now dictionary is mutable as well so here I have defined a variable X which um, in which I have assigned a dictionary so key value pair uh, apple is one banana is two cherry has the value three and pear uh, has the value four and then uh, I'll comment this out first and then what I'm doing is I'm using a for loop and printing the key and value for the dictionary so if I try to run this program you'll see the key is apple and value is one now if you want to change the value of any of the key what you need to simply do in dictionary is just X um, and then say the index of the uh, the element that you have in the dictionary which is apple and then assign a value whatever value I want to assign so I'll say 45 if I run this program again you will see that key is apple and value 45 got um, printed uh, apart from um, uh, printed into in place of one so that means dictionary is uh, mutable as well so these are some of the sequence types in Python these are really useful and simple to use thank you